Hey folks, welcome to the XNA Roundup podcast. This is podcast number 12 and I'm your host, Nick the Dude. Thanks for tuning in. Support the show by subscribing via iTunes or YouTube. You can also link or embed our show on your blog, Twitter, or Facebook page. Normally, here at the XNA Roundup podcast, we find the best games on the Xbox Live community game section and give you the rundown on what's worth playing each and every week. But this week we switch gears to see why Dishwasher Dead Samurai cleaned up at the 2007 XNA Dream Build Play Contest and made the jump from the community game section to the Xbox Live Arcade. Let's get right into the review. We will see you on the other side. I got my first glimpse at Dishwasher Dead Samurai back when Microsoft previewed seven community games on the Xbox 360 following the 2008 Game Developers Conference. I remember being impressed by the art and overall polish, but the gameplay seemed to constitute a fairly vanilla beat-em-up experience. Coming back to the game, I was really impressed at the level of production Scott Studios, the developer behind Dishwasher, had added during this past year. It's not that the game appears to have undergone a massive overhaul, but you can tell the developers took the time to tweak the little things that make playing a game worth your time and viscerally and intellectually satisfying. The particle effects in this game are some of the coolest I've ever seen, and the character design from the bosses on down to the grunts is totally unique and really visually appealing. But the real star in Dishwasher is the outstanding gameplay. With Dishwasher Dead Samurai, developer Scott Studios has certainly brought their own unique voice to the beat-em-up genre. One interesting innovation that Dishwasher has introduced is the shadow warp, which when activated via the right analog stick, turns you into an unattackable puff of black smoke, able to quickly move anywhere on the screen. While you cannot be harmed, you also can't attack, so there's a bit of a trade-off there. The shadow warping is only available when you have your ninja-style shift blade equipped, which is unfortunate because I became so dependent on the warping mechanic to get me out of jams that I was neglecting the other weapons even though I wanted to use them. I have to admit I couldn't hack it on normal mode and had to ratchet the difficulty down to easy. I'm not the most hardcore of players, but you may want to start there and go up if necessary. I really appreciate some of the role-playing aspects of Dishwasher as well. You need to collect spirals, the game's currency, and the ever-valuable Psycho Guitar Picks to level up your character's skill with each individual weapon, as well as your maximum health and magic. Upgrading your skill level with a given weapon will unlock more moves and combos for use with same. You can also buy continues, which is kind of cool, and it seems to work well. Just don't forget to equip a fresh continue heart after you drain your current one, or you'll be starting that board over again. Trust me, that's a massive bummer. The only complaint I have with the RPG element in this game is that I wish you were able to upgrade yourself a little more often. You can accumulate spirals fairly easily, but the psycho guitar picks are few and far between. The magic in this game is very epic, almost too epic. Without upgrading your max magic, you can do one spell maybe every few minutes. And it's one of those things where the whole game slows down and symbols appear around your character and then boom, some crazy things happen and enemies start dropping like flies. That's really cool and all, but I'd love to have some smaller magical attacks that you can integrate into a typical combo. You unlock local two-person co-op play in the story mode around level 3. And having someone else in the thick of it with you is extremely helpful, especially on the boss battles which can get pretty hairy on your own. The single screen co-op works really well as most of the action is segmented and typically contained in a single room or small area. The online multiplayer mode consists of you and one other player battling enemies cooperatively in short, one room levels while competing for the high score. Dishwasher Dead Samurai is a highly satisfying and well polished game that exemplifies the tremendous power and possibilities at the fingertips of every XNA developer. My hope is that community game developers will take a cue from Dishwasher and stop rushing their games to market, taking the time to play test and refine their products instead of just releasing a title that quote works. All right, folks, that's our show for this week. Thank you for tuning in. You can get show updates at twitter.com slash XNA Roundup. And you can email questions, comments, or suggestions to XNA Roundup at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, and I hope to see you next week.